So we're trying to find some information, very basic information about our, our LAN interfaces. And to find that information, two commands you can use. I have, well, first ETH tool, followed by the interface. I'll we'll pipe it into less. Tells us a lot of information about our, think of the hardware and the links. What data rates are supported by your wired LAN interface? What data rates are supported? Well, it says there are different link modes supported, and we see these strange names, but you may be able to guess 10 base T half, 10 base T full, 100, 1000. 10, 100, 1000 are the data rates that Ethernet support. Our device, so the hardware can send at either 10 megabits per second, 100 megabits per second, or 1000 megabits per second. The base, two, base T is just the, the, the name given to the, the type of cable or the, the connector here. Half and full refer to duplex. Half duplex or full duplex. Half duplex you can send in both directions but one at a time. Full duplex is typical today where we can send in both directions at the same time. So this is what's supported because when you buy the device it supports the old 10 megabits per second, uh, the, the less old 100 megabits per second and the current typical device or the speed for your device is, at, is one gigabit per second. And the way that works is that your device advertises those capabilities to the other end point of the cable. The device at the other end point, they do some negotiation. So auto negotiation means they, they will automatically try and choose the best one based upon what both endpoints support. Because if the partner only supports 10 and 100, and you support 10, 100, or 1,000, you cannot use 1,000. You use the best that both support. Well, it turns out both of them support 1,000 base T full. We support 1,000 base T full. We advertise that to the other side, and the other side, the partner, advertise that as well. So that's what we use. That's the best one. How do we know what we used? The speed tells us. 1,000 megabits per second and duplex is full. Try not to resize your windows. Duplex is full, speed is a current data rate. So they are the two main fields we care about here at this stage. The other one, which wasn't the question there, the very last line is very useful when we do some real testing. Is the link detected? Yes. What if we look at ETH1? Link detected? No. We don't have a cable plugged in and there's nothing at the other end point. So this will become useful because sometimes we'll plug a cable into the wrong interface or we don't plug in the other end point. So a quick check, is the link detected? Yes or no? So that's useful when you're setting up the, the links. IF config. tells us our hardware address and the hardware address, where does that come from? It's the MAC address, that's the other name, or a physical address, where did it come from? The manufacturer. So the company that made the, the chip on the motherboard or the PCI slot assigned this hardware address to it. It should be fixed and unique. This is the IP address. In my case, 10.10.16.201. This is assigned to your computer, so this may change, whereas you can think the hardware address is fixed. It's for the device. This is assigned to my computer. Where did that come from? Who gave it to me? How did your computer get this IP address? Well, there are three basic ways. Either I set it when I start my computer, 
I manually set the IP address. I did not do that. I think when you boot your computer, you didn't type in the IP address. That would be very inconvenient, but we can manually set it. We could have a file on our, on our system that says, when the computer boots, load this IP address, a static address. And the third approach, which is more commonly used, is that when our computer boots, it asks a special server, can you give me an IP address? What protocol does it use to ask a special server for an IP address? D, we need to configure our hosts dynamically. Dynamic host configuration protocol, DHCP, is the protocol that my computer asks the server, give me an IP address, and the server says, here, use this one. We will see that in a later lab, DHCP. It also gives me this other information, and you know you're experts about broadcast addresses, network masks, and from that also you can work out the network address, which is 10.10.16.0 in this case. The way to work it out, look at the internet address, grab the first 22 bits, why 22? 255 is 8 bits, 8 ones, so there's 16 ones. 252 is in binary, 6 ones and 2 zeros. So we have 8 plus 8 plus 6, grab the first 22 bits of this binary address, set the last 10 bits to 0 and you get 10.10.16.0. So that's how you get the network address. This is your IPv6 address. We're not using that in the, in the lab in this course, IP version 6, but it, most operating systems give an IPv6 address to your computer. But in this case, it can only be used on the local LAN. It only has a scope of the link. It can't be used out on the internet. The rest are some statistics or status information about how many packets have been received, how many bytes have been transmitted since we started the interface, usually since we booted the computer. So we can get a few stats plus the other information about the addresses. Let's stay with those tools and a couple of others briefly. ETH tool also gives us some stats. Minus S. ETH tool minus uppercase S gives us some statistics. Not much different from ifconfig. So sometimes we'd, when we're running our network, we want to diagnose if something's gone wrong. Maybe look at how many packets have been sent or how many errors have we got. We shouldn't see many errors. If we do, we see thousands of errors, then maybe there's some problem with the hardware or the cable. So ETH tool has many options, in fact. We can see statistics with uppercase S, uh, a little bit out of the scope, but we can also change parameters using ETH tool. I don't think we'll do it very often, but we can use ETH tool to set a value for my ETH0 interface. I can set the speed to be 100 megabits per second and the duplex to be full. So mine was set at 1000 megabits per second, duplex full. If I want to change the speed, maybe for testing purposes, I want to slow down, I can set it to a specific value. When we run it, it says operation not permitted because many networking things, we can view the information, but we're not allowed to, as the normal user, change the, the network settings. So what do we do? We do this as super user. And I've set up these computers so that the student user is allowed to run most networking commands. And if we check now, we notice the speed is one, 100 megabits per second. We should set both speed and duplex together because they go together, the, the speed and duplex mode. You get an error if you try to just set the speed. An ETH tool has many other options. I'm going to set mine back to 1000. So to see statistics, we've got ETH tool, we've got ifconfig plus the other configuration information. Before we have a break, another way to see the statistics 
there's a command called netstat, network status. And it has many options, netstat. It produces lots of different output depending upon the option we specify. So C statistics minus S, lowercase s here. So the options don't always mean the same thing across different commands. In ETH tool it means set. In netstat it means statistics. In if we wanted to get statistics in ETH tool it was uppercase S. So that's a bit confusing. Try netstat minus S. Gives us some network status information, in particular some statistics. I'll pipe it into less because there's a lot of output. And here are a lot more details of all the IP packets I've sent. Any with errors or different types of packets. ICMP is used for ping, so all the ping messages being received and sent. The different types of ICMP messages. TCP and UDP are transport protocols, so it shows some statistics about TCP and UDP. The connections opened, segments received, errors. So if you finding diagnosing problems, looking for statistics about the error messages received can be useful sometimes. And some extensions of UDP and TCP, some further statistics for, for extensions. So some of that we may not know what they, they mean, but if you want to find detailed statistics, netstat minus s. 